Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I want to show you real quickly, step by step, how to use the PHSTAT regression tool. We're going to forecast into the future for the 1st of November 2020. And as you might remember, I put in that's date format, and I just converted it over here, copied it into number format. 44136 is the number format for 11 1 2020 and that's what you need for your x value to put into ph stat so let's go to ph stat regression simple linear regression and we get this dialog box make sure you select the y variable that's your response variable in this case we're going to use usa sales drag that down to the bottom make sure that you capture everything it's awful easy to let your finger up and not capture that last cell click in the x which is the predictor variable and that's going to be month and i'm going to drag that down and then i double check to make sure that i've got the same number of values if you don't have the same number of values for the predictor and the, the predictor in the response you'll get an error I've got first cells in both ranges contain a label, which they do. I'm going to leave the confidence a little bit at 95%. I want the ANOVA. I want the residuals table. I want to get the residuals plot. And I want the Durbin Watson statistic. And we're going to get the confidence interval. I think my X was 44256. And I want the 95% confidence interval for that. And I'm going to click OK. And then pH stat inserts a number of tabs. Here's the data, original data. Compute has the ANOVA, which you need, and some information up there on your, your beta coefficients and your half width around beta 1 and beta zero in case you need to do confidence intervals for those it's right there for you we've got this is the data that it used it just copies it to show you exactly what it used these are the residuals if you are using the data an analysis and don't have the Durbin Watson this this is the information you need the actual residuals that's the plot data these are the residual plots and you can definitely see we have uh, seasonality there and there's my Durbin Watson statistic 0.2043 so if you're getting errors in these usually over here in your Nova if you get error messages that means you probably made a mistake when you were working through this dialog box and as I said the most common mistake that I see is people not having matching numbers of X's and Y's or sometimes they will try to uh, have a categorical var variable in there and that won't work. It's got to be quantitative variables and again that's remember these dates are really numbers behind the scenes. So that's what normally happens. I hope this helps. <laughs>